How good is your strategy? If you wanted a job at a hedge fund, the first uh, question or first detail they'll want to know is what is your sharp ratio? That is the yardstick that they measure success by initially. Obviously, there's a lot more to it, but the sharp ratio is fundamental to whether you get a job, a seat at the table in a hedge fund. So in this video, I'm going to take you through what it actually is. And a lot of traders out there completely ignore it. I think it's as important as the risk reward, win ratio, all those other traditional ones you're probably familiar with because it really is a simple, brilliant uh, ratio, bit of statistic that can massively help your trading. And unbelievably, it's really easy to calculate. I'm going to do a work through in an Excel spreadsheet so you can take that away and use it in your own trading. I can tell you once you start thinking in terms of sharp, then I can tell you your trading will also be transformed. So with that, let's get into it. So going back to that initial question, how good really is your strategy? You know, you're making some money, but how good is it really? Anyone can show profits, but smart traders measure risk adjusted returns. And that's where our sharp ratio fits in. And like I mentioned, I'm going to be explaining exactly how it works in plain English and show you how you can easily calculate it and use it you know, in the spreadsheet and in your own world of trading. Now, the sharp ratio well, it tells you how much return you're getting for every unit of risk you're taking. Now, coming up on the screen is the standard ratio for Sharp. It's the average return minus the risk-free rate divided by the standard deviation of returns. To the uninitiated, that might sound complex, but I can tell you it really, really is easy um, to put together. Um, in short, though, what does that exactly mean well the higher your sharp the more consistent and efficient your strategy is and that's what we are really looking for you know a strategy with a 20 percent return and wild swings might have a lower sharp than a 10 percent strategy with smooth stable gains we really want those smooth stable gains that p l upslope looking like a nice 45 degree line and the p l not deviating much from that. That is our ideal sharp scenario. You're then going to say to me, oh, so, so what about that? Well, the sharp ratio is going to filter out strategies that rely on luck or wild volatility. And like I mentioned right at the start, hedge funds, prop firms, pro quants, they're on this ratio like a, you know, a rash. They want it nailed down. Massively important, along with all the other mathematics and stats you can put together it's up there as the most important like i said it gets you through the door at a hedge fund and it also helps you compare strategies between other traders and other ideas you know apples to apples so it really is an all-round ratio here so you know like we've seen before with the other ratios win rate just isn't enough if you want to sustain an edge over the longer term the sharp ratio reveals the true performance of your system. Hopefully this chart will put it all into perspective for you. We've got four different scenarios here playing out with different sharp ratios. Now the bottom line there, pink one, 0.2 sharp ratio. See the way the P&L just drifts up and down all over the place. Not as strong as our top line there, which is a sharp over five. Now notice you know, I talked earlier about that 45 degree upward slope. That's the one we are looking for. And you can see two, which is good, which is their second from the top and then moderate, which is one. Now, if you want to put that into hedge fund terms, hedge fund, I would say looking for a sharp ratio greater than two. And, you know, I've seen them up even to 20, you know, and that's just like printing money machine, you know, market making at high um, frequency trading type algorithmic stuff when you get really high but you know anything between two to three and a half absolutely fabulous I try and aim my strategies to be greater than two um, less than that I'm not so interested I don't want those big swings in the um, P&Ls and you can see straight away how you can start to think 
about using the sharp ratio in your trading so like i said you know the sharp calculation actually is quite simple so i've got this spreadsheet example for you can make the sharp um, calculation more complex but it doesn't need to be and this is based off of this example on daily p l calculation so you could look back through your back test or put together current p l data um, to come up with the ratio but the crux of this um, demonstration is to show you how simple and easy it is to put together the ratio now you can see this sharp ratio flashing at 4.17 at me and how have I got there well I've got about 187 days worth of trading data so they're days 187 days that's the daily PL as you can see in there and this is the engine up here so we want the average daily PL which if we click in there is just as you see at the top the average which is C15 to C201 that range of 187 days so that gives us an average of 722 this, then we want the standard deviation of the PL and that is just ST dev in brackets that same period so that's all you need really um, in terms of input and then we go into the sharp ratio formula and as you can see it's C3, which is our average daily PL, divided by C4, the standard deviation of the PL, times the square root of 260, 260 trading days in there to produce that sharp ratio number. So we sort of annualized the result there, although we had 187 days of input. So that came out at a ratio of 4.17. I can tell you if you plug in other numbers into here, that number would change around but going back remember to our chart that we saw 4.17 that would be pretty decent and you'd have hedge funds knocking at your door like I said that's all you need really for the sharp calculation put that in together with you know risk return ratios you know win loss ratios all that it really really is a powerful tool if you know you've got a sharp ratio of four it's giving you the confidence to do the trades. It does help the psychology of trading as well. It helps your execution because you know the back test, the historical data is telling you you've got a great strategy here. Just follow the rules and do it. So an example then to really cement the idea. We've got two strategies. Strategy one, it's got 20% return, high volatility, sharp 0.65. Strategy two, a lower return, only 12%, but low volatility. What do I mean by volatility there? You know, it's that swing, that deviation from the mean. So, you know, going back to the chart with the slopes on it, you know, the further away from that mean, then the lower the sharp. Um, what one are you picking? That's the big question here. Now, if you're a pro trader, a hedge fund, you know, an expert in this sort of thing, you're going every time for strategy two. Yes, the return is lower, but over the long term, you know, P&L profits much more stable, much more predictable, and therefore giving you the higher sharp term. Easier to plan with, easier to scale up, has so many more advantages, as you know, we've been discussing in this video. So there you go. I told you it was easy, very straightforward ratio, but I can't urge you enough to start using it in your trading the you know the big players of this world you know they know the sharp ratio off the top of their head that's what you should do as well it's really really going to help you it's going to help your execution your psychology knowing how your back test works confidence you know understanding the mechanisms the engine of your trading how it deviates you know you get big deviations from day well if it's expected that's what the strategy is but you don't panic you know what's coming so like I said, really, really encourage you to get stuck into this ratio and get it in there amongst all those other ones that you're probably using at the moment. So if you like today's video, please give us the thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you already used the sharp ratio or what you thought of today's video. Hit the bell button for more notification of content I will be producing over the coming months and years. Um, love to have you on board watching all of that and also 
and to finish off I've just released my book on my own bookstore it's called Renko Chart Trading Revolution it takes all the different concepts of trading from using Renko charts getting the right mindset the risk management trade management uh, you know building clean efficient working systems talking about things like sharp back testing all those key concepts automation your know, algorithms how you turn an idea a possible edge into a winning system and like I said that book is out now on my bookstore I'll put a link to that in the description below this so hope you've enjoyed today's video and hope to catch you soon in the next one